Good morning, I'm on High Street and the Belfast City Sightseers buses are all in fine fettle this morning. And I'm just opposite Wine Cellars Entry. You want to see the city, get on one of the Sightseer seer buses. They, they are a good value and you can barter with the guys and knock them down in price. But this is Wine Cellars Entry. Leading to White's Tavern, reputedly the oldest uh, tavern in the whole of the city. And Wine Cellars Entry was um, is, is <laughs> uh, a guy just trying to pass me there. Uh, it was a major, obviously a major centre for um, wine and spirits merchants, and that's that's where it got its name. So you come along from High Street and you're heading White's Tavern on the right hand side here. Bit of a courtyard. Oh dear. It says White's Tavern, uh, 1630. White's Tavern established 1630. God knows how we've survived this long in this country. Uh, that might be a reference to um, the number of bombs and whatnot that have gone off over the years. So White's Tavern. And the um, wine cellar's entry was also known as Biggert's Alley. It's an old traditional uh, trading alley uh, or passageway. And these alleyways and passageways were centres of trade and commerce and hustle and bustle. And they were res residential, of course, as well. So uh, this, this place would have been at the core of Belfast uh, in the 1600s. This is where it all happened. These, uh, these entries, especially this one, uh, wine cellars. So this is where the three passageways meet. There's another one down here. And uh, White's Tavern was the first tavern to be granted a, a, a license, a, taverns, a tavern license, uh, back in 1630. Um, between 1600 and 1700, the tavern was uh, uh, a hotel and uh, all the rest of it. Um, in 18 52, uh, Hugh White took over uh, the partnership of it and he died in 1880. But um, forever since, the uh, tavern has uh, taken up his name. The name stuck. Then we're heading up onto Rosemary Street.
There's a uh, there's a notice board about wine cellars entry and White's Tavern. Narrow lanes uh, joining into a central courtyard. Lanes connect High Street, Rosemary Street, Lombard Street. For over 260 years, the uh, area has been associated with wine and spirit business. Building rebuilt in 1790 by Valentine Bro Jones, who was a wine and grocery wholesaler. Thomas Bateson became one of three local West Indian merchants back in 1752. He attempted to form the first bank in Belfast. There you go. Wine cellar entry. Off Rosemary Street. And you'd walk past this. But it's one of the most historic entries in the whole of Belfast. Some of these entries admittedly are not uh, exactly salubrious places, ex especially after uh, after nine o'clock at night, but nevertheless worth uh, taking a dander and certainly a White's Tavern worth uh, calling into. One of the oldest in fact, the oldest uh, tavern in the whole of Belfast. And this is the Lombard Street entrance to uh, Wine Cellar Entry, with monocle bars just beside it.